Hi, this is Ricky, and today I'm going to show you some really cool keyboard shortcuts you can use in Canva during your presentations. A little known fact is PowerPoint has a couple of these, but not a lot of people know about them. For example, if I'm in a PowerPoint presentation, and I press the letter B on my keyboard while the presentation is going on, the whole screen will go to blank. If I press the letter W while I'm in a PowerPoint presentation, the whole screen will go to white. Canva has this also, but they take it to level 11. So if you didn't know, Canva can also have presentations. So here's a presentation I made really quickly. And when I present here, when I press the letter B in Canva during a presentation, instead of it going to blank, it blurs out the presentation. That way it takes focus off of the presentation and something maybe that you have to say. If I want to stop blurring it, I hit the letter B again. Another keyboard shortcut you can use in Canva is if you press the letter C, you get confetti shooting from the sides. Or if you press the letter C again, confetti will explode in the middle. Or maybe confetti will shoot up from the bottom. Maybe it goes from the side again. So every time you hit the letter C, you'll get confetti. Another keyboard shortcut in Canva is the letter D for drum roll, please. If you want it to stop, hit the letter D again, and your drum roll, roll is done. Another one is if you need more bubbles in your presentation, hit the letter O. And then now you have bubbles for your presentation. If you want to stop the bubbles, hit the letter O again, and it stops it. If you want a little quiet emoji to pop up, hit the letter Q and you get the quiet emoji. If you want to make that go away, hit the letter Q again, and it will. Here's one that I think a lot of people are going to be interested in. If you need a timer during your presentation in Canva, you just have to hit a number key. So if I need a timer for five minutes, I'm gonna hit the number five, and a timer is gonna pop up in the top right. If I want a timer for nine minutes, I'll hit the number nine. If I need a timer for one minute, I'm gonna hit the number one. And this is an animated timer. So as the timer is going down, you'll see the top of it's kind of like a little fishbowl. So as that goes down, the, it's, the animation is going to go down. In about 30 seconds, you're going to see a little duck or something float across there. But another thing that's neat about this is this timer keeps going in between slides. So if I need to go back a slide, I can hit the left arrow and go back a slide, and the timer is still running. If I need to go forward a slide again, the timer still stays up there, and I still have my slide. If you forget um, these keyboard shortcuts, if you take your mouse down at the very bottom and move it, you have a list of all of these little magic shortcuts. It talks about the timers, 0 through 9, and all of the ones that I've talked about, except for the curtain column. That's the last one. Um, one thing with the timer is you do not get an audible alert. There's no buzzer or anything that goes off. The timer just goes to zero. So when you're done, you can hit the letter U for a curtain call, and we're done. If you want the curtain to go back up, hit the letter U again, and it pops up. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps.